All right, B-Squad, we're gonna get ready to cut up the sausages. I told y'all we're gonna do three lean Slovakic sausage. And I'm um, gonna do that, and then I'm gonna, all I'm doing basically right now is prepping. It's prepping the food, getting it ready. Um, and so, that's the main thing, the most important thing you wanna start doing is prepping your food, cutting it up, getting it ready, and get ready to get those beans on. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to put those beans in the pot. Uh, because they can actually start boiling, but before you cook these beans, make sure you rinse them off. A lot of people, um, a lot of people let their beans soak. They let them soak overnight because they want them to cook quicker. I don't have a problem with that. I'm not in no rush. Um, but you can let them, you can let your beans soak because a lot of people do let their beans soak. But what you do want to do, you want to rinse your beans off. Okay, like I said, this is two pounds of uh, Camella, 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 Camellia, Camella, one of those names. Uh, Camilla beans. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go ahead and rinse my beans off and I'm going to go ahead and put them in the pot so they can start boiling because the beans take the longest. So once your beans come to a boil, the next thing you need to do, let me turn this down because I don't want the music to overpower what I'm trying to tell you guys. So give me a moment. So what you want to do, once your beans come to a boil, then you want to kind of add your seasoning. Now, when I start, when I when I put my beans on, I'm gonna definitely put my bay leaf into the beans so that the bay leaf can go ahead and start releasing the flavor into your um, into your beans. So, Lego, let's see how this gonna come out. I already know, y'all probably wonder, but it's gonna come out real good. So anyway, let's go. This uh, as we do my how to make New Orleans style red beans. Even though I'm having uh, other items, but I'm only doing on how to make New Orleans style red beans so that one day you can make them too. So let's go. We're going to go ahead and put the beans in this water and I'll be right with you. Hey, if I can yeah, find I got my camera lady. Uh, thank you, Miss Jaden. So what I'm going to get ready to do now is get ready to rinse my beans off. Um, and basically, all I'm doing is just letting some water kind of like go through it. Are you got the beans on there? Kind of like go through your beans. You just want to rinse them off. I know when, when I was younger, my mom and them would pick out the half beans. Honey, I ain't picking out nothing. Keeping out. And if I see one like this, let me see you, D Squad. You see that? We're going to throw that one in the trash. So, anyway, um, and mom and them used to, come on, baby, I need you to focus. Mom and them used to always throw away these little half beans. I don't usually really throw away that. The bean is a bean, as long as it ain't got nothing on it. So now what I've done, I've rinsed my beans off. I'm gonna go ahead and get my pot. And um, basically, a little pot like this. Um, pour the beans in there. I don't measure. If y'all know me by now, if you want to know the instructions, basically you could just look at the back of the bag of the beans. It'll tell you how much water you need. Because I've been doing this for so long, I just use my judgment. So what I definitely want to do, I'm going to cover up the beans. I'm going to cover the beans up with some water. Uh, and I'm going to cover the water. Put a good amount of water because red beans, um, red beans, they take a lot. They use a lot of water. So I'm going to, I'm going to use a lot of water. I'm going to cut my stove on. But red beans take a lot of water, guys. They take a lot of water because they're big. They're red kidney beans. So, so you can see how much water I have in here. All right. Trust me, I'm going to need more. So, what I have the stove set on now, if you have an electric stove, I have it on nine for right now. Okay, so. Um, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and grab my bay leaves. My camera lady, she's oh, so good. Um, all right, pick your camera up, baby. All right, I'm going to show y'all again what bay leaves are. Remember, these are your bay leaves. Remember, these are fresh, but you can buy the ones that are dried out. They taste the same. These just release off a better flavor in your beans. So I'm going to go ahead and put these in my pot of beans. Putting them in the pot, and there they go. We're going to let that cook. Let this come to a boil. While I'm doing that, while I'm doing that, I'm going to go ahead and cut up my sausage and go ahead and cut up my smoked ham hocks. Uh, still prepping time. So I'm gonna try to cut some time down by allowing the beans to go ahead and come to a boil So that's what you do uh, D squad while you're getting ready to prepare and make your New Orleans style red beans So in the meantime, let me go ahead and get ready to cut up my vegetables. Okay. Sorry My camera ladies new at this, but it's okay. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and um And you won't have to keep in the whole time, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut up My can you go ahead and give me a knife? Go ahead and get ready to cut up my sausage. Um, 
Got him. So I'm going to go ahead and cut up my sausage, and then I'll be right back with you guys. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, I forgot to show y'all the sausage. I did put the sausage in there. So now y'all see what the beans are looking like now. Uh, they've been cooking for what, maybe an hour, hour and a half. See how creamy? This is why these are the best beans. The Camelo beans, and I purchased them from Walmart. Uh, you can get them. H-E-B does not sell this brand, but look at, just look how they look so far. And you talking about some good eating. Oh my God. And look at the consistency of your juice. It's thick. But there's one more thing, one more ingredient that we will be adding to this to make it even better. And that's probably going to surprise you. That's the difference between New Orleans style beans and your regular beans. I'm from Texas and uh, look at that. Just look at that juice. Mmm. That's, that's what you want. That little nice creamy consistency. That's the thing about Camilla beans. Any beans you buy with that brand, they're from New Orleans. Just look on the back of it and look at that. That just looks so good. Not ready yet, but just want y'all to see. Now the sausage is uh, uh, bringing out a different flavor. Trust me, I've tasted it and had to add a little more flavor. Just a little bit. Just to see how it tastes. You want to taste your food. You always taste to see what else that you need. So next thing I'm going to be adding to this is some butter. Yeah, I said butter. And believe it or not, we're just going to do a half a stick of butter. And you ask, why butter? Because the butter makes it a little more consistent. And um, just gives it this awesome flavor. So you just put the butter. That's a half a stick of butter. And just kind of work it around. Man, I know you probably say butter and beans. Yeah, these are still no, these are not just no ordinary beans. These are your New Orleans style red beans. The real deal. The real deal. And kind of work that around and, and then put that lid back on them. And I say they cook about, make sure you taste a bean or so just to see how uh, how done they are, how far you got to cook, how much, you know, how much longer you have to let your beans cook. We're almost there. But while I'm waiting on the beans to cook, I'm going to go ahead and put my rice on and make my cornbread. I already checked on my ribs, wrapped them up in some foil. Things are starting to look real good, y'all. So, um, so there we go. So, we're going to put the lid on it. <clears throat> I'm going to put the lid. The butter's pretty much melted down in it. And uh, there it is. Stir it up a little more. Just let it continue to cook. Uh, I have it now on um, slower. It's on four. I put. I turned the heat down to four because I do not want to burn a good pot of beans. And I'm not in a big hurry for it to be done. So yeah. So now I have it on four. I'm gonna put the lid back on and uh, let it cook a little longer. Let it cook. No hurry. Look. Look at that. Oh, mm -mm. So we'll go ahead and talk. So what I'm doing, I'm basically just cutting up my red, I mean cutting up my sausage as you can see. Now this is the size that I'm cutting, not this thick. You don't want to make them this thick. <clears throat> I have one daughter when I make these, she always, and I'm, I'm not playing, she always takes the sausage out. Always takes the sausage out of my red beans. Um, they tried to play some music, but honey, that ain't working for me. So if you're a YouTuber, Please let me know what, where and where you get your music from, why you're making videos. Because I like to have some music going on without getting a copyright strike. So anyway, basically I'm just cutting up my sausage. Uh, the, way I, the, the way that I learned how to make red beans, uh, New Orleans style red beans, is that I lived in New Orleans and I was married to a chef out of New Orleans um, who taught me how to make red beans. He taught me how to make uh, uh, New Orleans uh, food. And so... When he taught me, I didn't forget how to do it. My family loves it. They love to eat red beans and rice. They love to eat jambalaya etouffee. They love to eat the greens the way they cook them in New Orleans. Um, they just love New Orleans style food. I do too. You know, your girl ain't, ain't built like this for nothing. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. And uh, so I just, I used to sell plates. I used to make plate lunches and uh, people just love it. A lot of people are asking me, when are you going to open your restaurant? When are you going to open your restaurant? Honey, it takes money. And one day, things are going to look up for me. One day, I'm going to have it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to have it. So what i just done now, I cut up my sausage. And I'm just going to put the sausage to, in this bowl and put it to the side and get ready to begin to cut up my ham hocks. Um, and I tell y'all, like I told y'all the last time on the last video, that when you're cooking, don't think it's crazy, but I be talking to my food. And I'll be telling my food, mm, you're going to taste so good. You're going to taste so good. You want to talk to your food. <clears throat> and, and I consider it as, I always say, make love to your food. Not literally, guys. But 
anyway, I'm gonna get ready to cut these ham, uh, the ham seasonings up. You're not gonna use all of this as a lot. You wouldn't even be able to eat it all. Now, like I did with the greens, <clears throat> I did a little something different with our greens when I made them the last time. I boiled the, I boiled the ham seasoning. I'm not gonna boil it this time because I'm gonna use the seasoning for the beans. Believe it or not, beans take a lot more to season than those greens. So um, I'm gonna go ahead, let me show you how big they are because you do not want to, you see how big that is? That's, you don't, let me, let me see if you can see it. You see, I'm trying to hold it. That's a pretty big chunk. So basically you wanna cut that down. And the bite sizes, you know, little bite sizes about like that. See how, see how that is compared to, let me see. Something that big. You don't want, who won't try to eat that like that? No. So anyway, yeah. So I'm basically, and you can actually put this in the same pot as your sausage. Well, better not because I'm going to use it. Sausage, let me, let me actually separate it. I'll take that back, scratch that. All right. After I cut up this, after I cut up my um, ham hocks, that's going to get ready to go in that pot of the beans. Why? Why would I put this in the pot with the, with the, with the, with the, with the beans? because of the seasoning and if you remember the last time when i made a video on how to make some food item remember i told you about the fat you want to save this don't get rid of it you want to save it there is so much seasoning in that fat so much so much seasoning in that fat um when my sister was alive yeah i'm gonna talk while i cook uh when my sister was alive one thing that girl loved it could be on brisket it could be on ham hocks it didn't matter to her she loved her some fat, fat of the part of the meat. She loved that. And if you didn't eat it, she was like, you don't eat that? She loved it. That's just what she loved. You see that fat on there? That right here? That's nothing but seasoning. And also it helps your beans to cook out. It makes them cook better. Because some people add oil to their beans. When you cook, when you cook with this, you don't need any oil. Because you're getting the fat from this here, from the ham hocks. Mmm, it smells so good it's not even ready. It's not even beginning. That's when you know you're doing something right. So anyway, yeah. So I learned how to make that, uh, make these, make these dishes, um, because I paid attention. And it was a lot of times he didn't like me in the kitchen, but I made sure I was watching because um, I might want to cook it one day, like I'm doing now. Good thing I was watching, right? Learn something. If you're in a marriage and you know it's rocky and you don't even think it's gonna last or possibly it ain't gonna, it ain't gonna work out, get something out of it. Learn something. What I learned could make me a whole lot of money if I wanted it to, but I just do it now for my family. But one day I would like to have my own little business. I would like to have my own little kitchen because I do have something called Diana's Kitchen. And um, I would like to have something. I do have my little label. I am registered, but I would like to have something where people can come and sit and dine and eat or order. I'm telling you, I'm not boasting and bragging, but my food is good. It's good. It's good. I don't know if any of my exes may be looking at this video, but come on now, comment. Give your girl some props, because you know that food was good. That belly was getting big. <laughs> just kidding. So anyway, um, I've almost got just about as much as I want to use of this here um, to put into my beans, and that's what I'm going to get ready to do. I'm going to get ready to put this in my beans. Uh, in just a minute and the sausage we're going to use that the time when you get ready to put your sausage in you want your beans pretty much done because sausage does not take take that long to cook and what the sausage is going to do is actually going to top off the flavor so basically your sausage is going to set still for a little bit while your beans cook but in the process of cooking your beans you're going to go ahead and put in the seasons that you need like i'm going to go ahead and put in my ham hocks and let them cook inside the beans um the beans are probably cooked. These beans take about approximately three hours to cook, just to keep it real with you. But once they start boiling, you put a top on them and turn them down. If you have an electric stove like I do, go from, um, like I have it on nine now just to get it to boil. Once you get it on boil, turn it down to about six, but you want it to say a consistent heat, put a top on it, but make sure you check it from time to time. Uh, you may even want to keep your pot of water on the stove uh, hot keep it on low because you'll want to add it you don't want to go and put no cold water in a pot in a pot of hot beans that's been cooking it's almost like starting the beans all over and you'll be taking it'll take you forever to get those beans cooked so now what i'm going to get ready to do guys i'm going to get ready to put my ham seasoning inside of my beans as i told you so just walk with me 
You see how I have it cut up? That's how I got the sausage over here and I have my ham seasons over here, which I'm gonna get, I'm going to get ready to put the ham season inside of the beans, okay? So let's go in the kitchen and um, let's get ready to put this ham season in there. So I'm gonna try to work with this camera, guys, so y'all just work with me. Let me turn it over. All right, so this is what we're doing now. We're gonna take, let me move this out the way. I'm gonna get ready to take it. See, right now all I have in there is just my bay leaves and some water. It hasn't even come to a boil. But you're gonna take your ham seasons and put them in your pot. Yeah, it's gonna be good. And just and and I like a lot of meat because when you hit it with that rice, sometimes all you need is a pot. All you need is a bowl, baby, and some red beans, some rice, and a slice of cornbread, and you got it going on. But yeah. Ain't no all that measurements. If you are if you a mama and you've been cooking for a long time, honey, I don't know. You might do some measuring, but after a while, you learn to not have to do the measuring anymore. So, while this is cooking and doing this, I am going to get ready to put some seasoning. One of the seasons y'all know that I always keep around. I'm sorry if I'm upside down. Give me a minute. That's my camera for you. Let me turn it around. Uh, one thing I'm always trying to um, put in here is um my seasoning so i'm gonna get ready to put the seasonings in here i'm gonna try again to turn the camera around without being upside down so you guys can see so kind of bear with me y'all this is the first time i'm recording with my camera there see it's, it's crazy i don't know why it does that so anyway i'm gonna get ready to put now what I, the seasonings that i put in my the seasonings that i put in my beans are of course uh, garlic powder if you can see that garlic powder of course I showed you how to put onion powder um, definitely got to have this uh, Zataran now let me tell you something about that and also some black pepper but let me tell you about this Zataran okay remember we put the we've already put uh, some ham hocks in there so ham hocks can already are salty right so we don't need a lot of salt. It does not have to consist of a lot of salt. You don't want to put a lot of salt. But you want to put your garlic in there. Now, I always tell people, you know how you want your food to taste. You know better than I do how you want your food to taste. So, basically, let me turn this around. Let me see. I'm trying to remember how to do this, y'all. I am learning, so bear with me. Um, let's see how I can do this while I can see. There we go. Okay. So, what we're going to do now, get that seasoning going. And um, you may think that's a lot, but it's not a lot. Because remember, you're going to be adding water. Yeah, there we go. So, I, I'm always using my judgment because I guess I've cooked this for so long. Um, so, I, I pretty much use my own better judgment. That was garlic powder. So, now I'm putting onion powder. Bam. And now we're going to put this Tony's. Now, remember what I... Oh, and some black pepper. But remember what I said about you don't have to use a lot of this. Uh, and you'll come back and taste it. You'll come back and taste it once it starts cooking. Okay, so now I'm going to put some black pepper in here. I don't do the teaspoons and all that type of stuff. I just do it. Because I'm going to come back and taste my food so I can see what it tastes like. So, we want to get us a... Um, now we want to get a... Um, a spoon. Oh, na, 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 na. Oh, all on nice box. Na 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 na. Give me a spoon so I can get ready to mix this stuff up. And the reason now, if you are cook and you've been cooking, you already know mothers, fathers. That and when you cook, you know how that 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 food and little stuff gets around your pot. That's your seat. That is your seasoning. So make sure you stir up your pot real good. Because you want to get that seasoning off in there. You see how I got that? That's those, those ham. Mm, mm, mm. Those things are the bomb.com. So anyway, yeah, you want to stir that up. So we'll stop and uh, wait for a little while. So guys, I'll be back on here to talk to y'all a little later. All right, guys. So All right, so now we have a boil. We have a boil. So remember what I told you. See all this season around there? You want to stir that up. It smells and looks good already. Look at that. Just, mm. But we got a long ways to go. So what we're going to get ready to do now. Um, have my vegetables already pre-cut and ready to roll. And that what you have right there is bell pepper. You don't have to add carrots. But I just added carrots because they taste so good. But anyway, what you see there is uh, onions, garlic, bell pepper. 
and celery. Which is going to get ready to go into this pot. And I'm going to get ready to turn it down. So basically we're just going to pour that on in there. And yes, I use a lot of veggies. Uh, because it gives it a lot of flavor. And believe it or not, I learned this in the city. Where baby, they actually, oh I love the way they do it. Like on a, on a day that they're off, they'll take their vegetables. I'm sorry. They'll take the vegetables. They'll go to the store and they'll buy a bunch of vegetables and what they'll do is set home and they'll cut them uh put them in a ziploc bag and freeze them so they won't have to do it now remember what i told you about the water i have my pot of water on right there for backup but remember what i told you about the water and because this is two pounds of beans and my pot is a certain size i'm definitely going to have to add more water as you can see you see how high beans they start rising up so i'm going to have to add more water but i just want you to see Oh, the colors are so pretty. But can you imagine all those seasonings being released in this pot of beans? Not to mention, I still have the sausage to, la to add last. Now, in New Orleans, but we don't have, well, no, we don't have it here in Corpus Christi. They have smoked pigtails. And, uh, oh, when I tell you they are some good, they are good. Yes, indeed, they are. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and pour some more water on here. Um, let it come to a second boil. The reason it stopped boiling because you got to know the vegetables are not hot; they're cold. So they brought the temperature of the the, the temperature down, but it's getting ready to percolate again. So while we're waiting for it to percolate, I'm going to go ahead and add about a cup of water out of this pot. Look at that! I ain't even going to measure it. About a cup of water just to bring it back up. There we go. That might have been, that might have been two cups of water, but honey, it's going to need it because we got a while to go. Make sure it's stirred up again really good. And then what we're going to do, wait for that second ball to come. And then we're going to put a lid on it and let them bad boys cook. So since I last talked to you, I've already um, I seasoned my ribs. And I have my ribs in the oven. Um, that wasn't part of the cooking show today, just the red beans. Um, so I already have the... Um, have those in the oven and I'm thinking about letting them cook a little bit and maybe throwing them on the grill I don't know but um it's gonna be a good meal today this is for my family and um so I just wanted to show you guys who want to learn how to make uh the real New Orleans are the real New Orleans red beans you're getting your lessons from Diana's Kitchen so um thumbs up and comment and subscribe and comment for whatever else you want to see I know Melody Garcia you want to see Etouffee it's coming. I will be making that. It's just not on the menu today, but I got you. So, alrighty, well, I'll continue um, recording our step-by-step. -step. Uh, so far, what we've done already uh, was rinse the beans off, put them on to boil, added our bay leaves, cut up our sausage and our ham hocks, added our ham hocks, and now we just added our vegetables, and it's already beginning to come to a boil, as you can see. So, pretty soon, I'm going to be turning it down off of 9 if you have an electric stove. Uh, and putting it on number six. Man, if y'all could just smell the aroma in my house right now, it is the bomb.com. But we got a long ways to go. I'm going to swim in a day. So, see, you know how it is when you go swimming? You already know when you go swimming, you want to eat. You're hungry because you done worked all that. You done burnt up all that energy. So, then you want to eat. So, when I get through swimming and getting ready to eat and relaxing, I'm going to be patting myself on the back. So, all right. So, we're at a boil now. We're at a boil. As you can see, we're percolating. So, now I'm going to turn the stove down to number number six. Yeah, number, number six right there. We don't want to turn it down too low. And uh, stir it up one more time and get that lid on there. Get that lid on there. All right. All right, guys. And I'll be back when it's time to put the sausage in. And if we have to add some more water, I'll be back. Um, so, so far, I mean, so far, so good. Thank you guys for watching this video. And like I said, if there's anything else you want to see me cook, don't hesitate to comment below. Thank All you, right, guys. I'll be back. Uh, I forgot to show y'all the sausage. I did put the sausage in there. So now y'all see what the beans are looking like now. Uh, they've been cooking for what, maybe an hour, hour and a half. See how creamy. This is why these are the best beans. The Camelo beans, and I purchased them from Walmart. Uh, you can get them. I don't. HEB does not sell this brand. But look at just look how they look so far. And you talking about some good eating? Oh my God! And look at the consistency of your juice. It's thick. But there's one more thing, one more ingredient that we will be adding to this to make it even better. And that's probably going to surprise you. That's the difference between New Orleans style beans and your regular beans. I'm from Texas and 
All right, look at that. Just look at that juice. Mmm, that's, that's what you want. That little nice creamy consistency. That's the thing about Camella beans. Any beans you buy with that brand, they're from New Orleans. Just look on the back of it and look at that. That just looks so good. Not ready yet, but I just want y'all to see. Now the sausage is uh, uh, bringing out a different flavor. Trust me, I've tasted it and had to add a little more flavor. Just a little bit. Just to see how it tastes. You want to taste your food. You always taste to see what else that you need. So next thing I'm going to be adding to this is some butter. Yeah, I said butter. And believe it or not, we're just going to do a half a stick of butter. And you ask, why butter? Because the butter makes it a little more consistent. And um, just gives it this awesome flavor. So you just put the butter. That's a half a stick of butter. And just kind of work it around. Man, I know you probably say butter and beans. Yeah, these I don't know. These are not just no ordinary beans. These are your New Orleans style red beans. The real deal. The real deal. And kind of work that around and then put that lid back on them. And I say they cook about. Make sure you taste a bean or so just to see how uh, how done they are. How far you gotta cook. How much you know. How much longer you have to let your beans cook. We're almost there. But while I'm waiting on the beans to cook, I'm going to go ahead and put my rice on and make my cornbread. I already checked on my ribs, wrapped them up in some foil. Things are starting to look real good, y'all. So, um, so there we go. So we're going to put the lid on it. <clears throat> I'm going to put the lid. The butter's pretty much melted down in it. And uh, there it is. Stir it up a little more. Just let it continue to cook. Uh, I have it now on um, slower. It's on four. I put. I turned the heat down to four because I do not want to burn a good pot of beans. And I'm not in a big hurry for it to be done. So yeah. So now I have it on four. I'm gonna put the lid back on and uh, let it cook a little longer. Let it cook. No hurry. Look. Look at that. Mm -mm. All right, guys. There are your red beans and rice. Well, the red beans. The rice is still cooking. But as you can see, the consistency of your red beans, look at that. Mm. That's just what it's going to look like and taste like. Taste good. It's going to look like this with the nice, the thick consistency of the juice, which is, oh my gosh, it's so good. Um, and that's your finished product. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want more recipes or anything else that you'd like to see me cook, please don't hesitate to comment. Uh, hit that thumbs up button for your girl. And again, this is how you make the New Orleans style red beans. And it's time, almost time to eat. So y'all have a good day. Thank you. Bye.